Also this new time, Paw Sox moving. Moments ago, we heard from the mayor of Pawtucket. Worcester City officials are geared up to finance a new home for the Pawtucket Red Sox. Today, Pawtucket's mayor talking about how his city is losing out here. And Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is at the news conference with the mayor and other local leaders. She brings us now an update live from that uh, press conference. Yes, and that news conference just ended. My colleague Kate Wallace actually still uh, questioning the mayor and the governor behind me right now here at Slater Mill. This is near the site, of course, where the Pawtucket was hoping to build a brand new Pawsock Stadium that, of course, did not come to fruition as the Pawsox announced they'll be moving to Worcester. But the mayor, this was his first time speaking out on camera since the Pawsox decided to leave. And he says this wasn't about pointing fingers, about the blame game. He says it's about moving Pawtucket forward, moving the Blackstone Valley forward. He says at no time would he have put the city's financial health at risk by offering the kind of subsidies that Worcester is offering the team. He says the chance to get the team, to get them to stay in Pawtucket, happened during the exclusivity period when the team was considering building a new stadium in Pawtucket. But he said, and I quote, the lingering cloud of 38 studios had an effect on that issue with just not a lot of appetite for taxpayer subsidies for anything at all. Now let's hear from the mayor and what he said this morning. Uh, we are still shocked and disappointed. Many within our community and throughout the state of Rhode Island are struggling with the news of the loss of this treasured piece of our fabric that many of us took for granted. The city lost a very rare opportunity to reinvent itself, to create a destination and attract visitors to our downtown in numbers that we haven't seen in better than 40 years. And next is, of course, what happens with McCoy Stadium and also what happens with the Apex site. This is the plot of land where they wanted to build a new Pawsock Stadium. The city has yet to acquire that land, and the Pawsock said that was part of their reasoning for leaving the city. Now, the mayor today said in no uncertain terms that the city will acquire the Apex site and develop it, and he also said they're expediting plans to uh, do something with McCoy Stadium once the Pawsocks stop playing there in two years. We will have much more on all of this tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. Live in Pawtucket, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.